what I'm about to say is extremely valuable. Women do not hear this from men because everyone lies to you. Do you understand? Women are asking women what men want. I'm going to be telling you the unfiltered truth and you might not like it, but it's the truth. Okay. What a high value man wants in a woman. <laughs> you already know how we do. So <laughs> surprise, surprise. You got a person or pause it, get your mirror. This is what we're going to be talking about. What I want to start off by saying is extremely important, okay? And I want to essentially kind of give a disclaimer. What you women are thinking the answer is to this question is the majority of women are going to get this wrong. And it's not to say, oh, look at you, you're getting it wrong. It's not your fault, okay? You have been lied by these men. You have been listening to your girlfriends who think they know men. You have been listening to your grandma, society. These people will never be so truthfully honest or this idea, these... These sort of things, these questions you'll never technically ask because you're not the one essentially, you're always the one essentially being desired, right? It's not normal for a girl to think, oh, what does a man want? Because men just come to you, right? It's normal. But as men, we have to really understand, a lot of us, the female nature, the female dynamic. And then we can kind of use that to become better and chase you. Conversation for another day. But essentially, your answers will be wrong. When I ask you the question, it's essentially very important, look at me. When I ask you the question, women, what do you think a high value man wants? Let me clarify, a high value man is the minority. It is someone who's of elite caliber, possibly in the top 10%, someone who's got their whole life sorted, ticks, ticks in all the boxes, more or less finance, life set up, confident, dominant, um, a hyper masculine figure. These are, the, these are the type of men that women desire. The majority of them, as we know, 80% of women want 20% of men. I repeat, 80% of women want 20% of men. These are the top men that women go for. It's because of hypergamy. Again, a conversation for another day, but women want the best, okay? And when I say high value men or male, it is the best, okay? So this is what you have to bear in mind, that this is not the vast majority of men. This is the elite, the best type of caliber of men. What do you think, women, that caliber of man wants? I'll ask you a question. Think about it. What's coming to your mind? <laughs> a boss bitch? A woman that can sort her own finances, maybe? Mm -hmm. Maybe a woman that's some sort of a leader, maybe? A woman that can hold her own? Maybe even some sort of a dominant woman, completely and utterly all wrong. And I told you, what I'm going to say or what I just said will be very shocking. And you're, you're kind of bamboozled at the moment because you're like, what? Like, I thought someone would like these characteristics. And yes, we do. But in terms of what we care about, in terms of the priority, in terms of the most important, they don't come near. They don't come near. Yes, it's very good for a woman, for anyone to be independent, for a, a person to get their own money. But you're not understanding the question. What do high value men want? What does a want mean? It means what can we not get that we have to go somewhere else to receive? We don't want a high value man. <laughs> we, you know, for my age group, yeah, for majority of males, no. But yeah, for my age group, I'm a high value man. We as high value men do not care about your money because the vast majority of high value men to be even considered a desired male is earning a substantial amount of money. Yes, it may vary. Yes, it is very good for a woman to come in and add to the pot and you can work together and create your empire. But in terms of what we want, we don't give a shit about that. Because as you know, men are physical creatures, right? We would rather prefer, and this is what you have to understand and get this in your head. We would rather prefer a 28-year-old bimbo with big tits and a nice ass. And listen, take this with a pinch of salt or whatever physical attractiveness that we can see. Maybe nice makeup, okay? Maybe I shouldn't be as vulgar. But, you know, someone very attractive. We would rather want or appreciate more a 28-year-old bimbo. A stupid girl that's achieved nothing, no ambition, no nothing, just sits at home, has Netflix and doesn't work out, has no goals, nothing. We'd rather desire her than a 50, 60 year old 
Oprah Winfrey-esque woman with so much money. Don't you find that very strange? Don't you find that very weird? But this is as men as how we operate. A high value man, a guy who's an elite, we don't care about your financial position because we've achieved it and we've been through the trenches and struggled ourselves. As masculine, I was just saying in a previous episode, as very masculine men, we are the providers. We are the ones offering security. We are the ones who have been out there pursuing and grinding for you, for your family, to give you everything. We want to give you everything. We don't really care about if you can give us something. Yes, financially it does help, but we don't give a shit about that. We don't care about a boss bitch working hard in the trenches, in the grind like us. It doesn't matter to us because we've already achieved that and we already have our own money. So yes, you can add to it, but we don't care about these things. It's very weird and it's, it's quite a hard pill to swallow because then you're thinking, okay, if a man doesn't care about my financial position, then do I just sit at home and do nothing? No, of course not. You should improve yourself. You should keep learning as a woman to, you know, holistically improve mentally, emotionally, socially, everything. But it's not our priority, not how you look, look at us and say we want to look at his future, has he got his finances in place, life set up, these sort of things, car, house, can he provide, look after our family, these are very common and at the forefront of your head, but for us, we're not looking at you saying, oh, what car she got, can she provide for us? <laughs> because the high value men, and this is to emphasize, the men at the top of echelons of society have these things already. We don't want them from you because we have them already. We want things that we cannot obtain. The three main things, and again, deep breath, pinch of salt, some humility, please. I'm just telling you the facts. Don't hate the messenger. Don't hate the player, hate the game. I didn't make the rules, I'm just telling you. <laughs> Apologies, my bad, the video randomly cut. Exactly when I'm getting to the points as well. Anywho, authentic as fuck, we keep going. Number one, loyalty. <sighs> one second. We both agree, yeah, men and female, we both agree, and you can probably resonate and understand this, very important, look at me. We both agree that our partner is a reflection of us, right or wrong? Right? If you're a woman and you're doing the right things and taking life seriously, you would want a man on your level or if not better, right? Right. Our partner is a reflection of us and it's extremely important for a high value man, remember this, for a man on the top of echelons of society to value loyalty. We as men, and this is going to sound a bit vulgar and you might get a bit uncomfortable, might switch off the video, but we find it embarrassing. And this is not to say about the whole thing and all of that. Take this for one side. We find it embarrassing for a woman to, yeah, emotionally invest in that man. And that man, and that man, and that man, and that man. Because we as people, what is scarce is valuable. Let me repeat that again. What is scarce is valuable. There's a reason the high value men are such a small minority but get all the girls because they're scarce. There's a reason why a six pack is desired because it's very hard to get because it's scarce. We're not talking about body counts or being a whole. We are talking about that woman being for you and invested in you, in your pursuit and your dream and just fucks with you. And <laughs> not fucks as in whatever, you understand. A woman who's so in tune with you. We find it embarrassing for a woman to be in tune and... and essentially linked to this point, assist us. We find it embarrassing for this woman to help that guy and help that guy and help that guy and help that guy because then it's kind of like, okay, you, you, there's no really value here because she hasn't chose you. We want a woman to choose us and be so for us that she can provide her feminine, nurturing, loving energy for us. This is, and when I said the word embarrassing, I want you to take it with a pinch of salt, just like you women, and you, come on, just think about this for a second. You would, wouldn't would date a broke, unambitious, low value guy who's got no future, smells guy, because you find it embarrassing. 
we as social creatures, we understand the social hierarchy and we unconsciously know in our brains where we stand in terms of the value. You kind of know that Leonardo can, the, can, DiCaprio, <laughs> we keep going, we know that he is got money, got attention, got clout, and you kind of understand he can kind of date any girl he wants. And you also understand the 18 year old, the 18 year old guy also understands that he can't really get any girls because he has no value, he has no money, he has no confidence, leadership, etc. We know deep down, okay? And it's the exact same thing. We want a partner to be representative of us, okay? We want it to be a similar, essentially a, our copy, but in the opposite sex, right? Right. So we find it embarrassing for our girl not to be loyal or so fixated on us and our dream because then it's, it has no value because she's not scarce. We want her just to be for us. This is what high value men value the most, loyalty. Number two, loving and nurturing energy. I just kind of touched upon it. When I say what we want, and as I kind of just said, what we want means what we don't have, what we seek what we want to obtain from someone because we can't get it ourselves. Most high value men, and have a think about this, most high value men are, and you probably agree, quite masculine, right? They possess these masculine traits where they're very fixated on money, on providing, maybe on fitness, very high testosterone, uh, bad man, chain, <laughs> tattoo, at war. Like, these are the traits associated with the, the, the masculine. Very work orientated very goal orientated very i want to become better i'm looking at the future these are the traits that we have already and any high value man the vast majority would possess some if not all these traits so where's all the love where's all the care where's all the nurture can you see how this is working where's all the when you get sick i'm going to be here to look after you where's all the feminine energy there is none so that's what we want in you we want you to be I'm not gonna say live up to your social roles because as i just said in the previous episode we can switch and people do possess certain traits on either side of the scale but we want you to offer that peace of mind offer that nurturing offer that love offer that when we're struggling when we're down to say, you know, come on, like, you got this. You, we want to feel like the man. We want to feel appreciated. We want to feel loved by you, that we're giving and sacrificing everything to provide for you, for our possible kids in the future, to give you a better life. We want to feel appreciated and, and, and loved. That's what we want. We want the love. We want the nurture. We want the sensitivity. We want the delicacy, the tendency that we can't, possessed by ourselves by being such a high value man to try and give you all these things we want you to complement us with these traits this is very important that's why you won't see a high value man tolerate with this a, a woman who's very on the scale of masculine in terms of yes some of course but the majority very on the scale of oh challenging the man not giving him peace of mind attacking him putting him down these things do not go well with a high value man and it links to the last point, our peace of mind. We want you to be our peace. We want you to be our peace of mind. We want you to be that cool, relaxed person to come home to. We want that support from you and we want that very feminine loving peace of mind to say, you know what, like, <laughs> I'm just going to support him and kind of links to the last point I mentioned already, assist him in his journey. I don't want you to take this word assist in the wrong way to say, what, I can't do my own thing. Listen, every woman and anyone who's, every man should I say, and any man who's got some two cents about him, really values an independent woman, really values a woman that's worked on herself, improved level of conversation, can offer all these things. But as I said, what we want we want you to assist us because a high value man has already and has just said achieved this money, achieved this level of status. We want you to just assist and maintain it with us. We want you to add to our empire. That's why you hear this phrase a lot, the man's vision and the woman to kind of assist the man's the pilot and the leader. And again, most women would being so truthfully honest with themselves would want to be in that feminine role and have the man to kind of lead we want the man 
women majority of them again take it with a pinch of salt to be the one driving is in like a car and even as in like the boat and even is in like a vision of the future we want the man to kind of take the lead in that that's what women feminine women who want the high value man want so you need to assist us you need to help us and be our sense of calming be our sense of nurturing, be our sense of love, be our sense of loyalty. Listen, I, I've got you, I'm, I'm here for you, I'm your ride or die. This is the, 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 these are the things the high value man wants because the majority of the things you're hearing or you fought in your head that society's told you, that your friends have told you, that everything we already have. We don't want things that we already have, we want things that we can't possess ourselves. Okay, so it's a bit different, it's a bit abstract. I want you to kind of take it with a pinch of salt. The, the things I said can be interpreted in a different way, but in terms of the overall consensus, these are the three main things that a high value man wants in a female, okay? <laughs> also, I'm high value, yeah. For my age, I'm high value, you know, I have to, whatever. For my age, I'm high value, you know, when I talk like this and. <laughs> I am high value for my age. In terms of the majority of guys, I'm getting there very, very slowly, but I am the top echelons for my age group. So, if you're a feminine woman and you want to fuck with me, you can shout at me still. Requirements are all of these and have a big ass. Thank you. If you want to fix your life today or have access to my free self-improvement guide, all links will be down below.